Welcome to all my art students out there. This is Trips Art Class. And not only do we have the Golden Valley students, but we have a plethora of other students out there that are taking these tutorial classes as well. So welcome to the class. I'm stoked to have you during this interesting time in our world history where a lot of us are stuck at home instead of being in the classroom. So Today, we're going to draw a fun character. This one, I'll kind of keep it a surprise until we get there. But this character, we're going to draw a basic shape to begin with. And that very, I'm, and I'm using regular paper here, regular size paper on the iPad Pro using the app Procreate. For those digital artists out there that are drawing along digitally, and for those that are drawing along using traditional media, this is regular size paper. Um, eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to zoom in here. You can do that just with your natural eyes. And we're going to draw our first shape. Our first shape is a triangle. So we're going to draw a triangle, sketch a triangle. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're sketching here. There we go. There's our triangle. Once again, don't stress on making it perfect. We're having fun. Mine's a little bit crooked here, so I'm just going to adjust it just a tad. And then from there, we're going to draw an oval. Now, these are guidelines, so they should be very, 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 very light, so we can easily, easily erase them. And we don't need them anymore. So there's the first part of our character. I'll give you a tip, this one's going to be an animal. So from there, what I'm going to do is start to clean up these lines. The first way I'm going to clean it up is by drawing kind of a curved line right here. So I can cut off the tip of the triangle. Okay. From there, I'm going to draw, let me clean up this line a little bit so it doesn't get in the way. I'm going to draw this shape. It is a shape that, it's like a hook. It comes out and hooks. So draw this little hook shape. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to draw two eyeballs. These are going to be super easy. All you have to do is draw a circle and a little bit above another circle. It'll be a little bit smaller. Super easy, right? And then we're gonna throw in some eyebrows. Those are super easy on this character. It's two lines. It's two lines. Now from there, we get to start having fun. We get to start to put in some hair or oops, some fur on this character. So starting right here, we're going to kind of have some lines come up. These lines are going to be very random, very sporadic and random, like you're drawing fur or wool. I wonder if I gave it away already. And when we get to this point, what I want you to do is leave some space. Leave some space right here. And then we'll go back to the top of the head. Right here, we're gonna kinda of come out. And then connect. Now at this point in the drawing, we can actually begin to clean up some of our line work and erase those lines we actually don't need. So I'm going to take my eraser here. I'm going to take my small eraser and start to clean up the line work. Now this is really easy if you do it lightly. If you sketch lightly, this is not a problem. But if you're making very, very, very dark sketch lines, this makes things a lot, it makes it a lot more difficult. So keep your lines very, 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 very light. Just as I cleaned up that line right there, we're also going to erase this line. And 
And what we're going to do here is we're going to add in some more wool. Like that. Now we can go ahead and start to clean up our other lines a little bit. Don't worry about things being perfect. The imperfections is what it makes, what makes it look like original artwork. And we can erase the, these lines right here. So I'm going to take my larger eraser so I can quickly erase these guidelines. Now one thing I want you to remember, you can't be a perfectionist. You want to make things proportionate, but you don't want to be a perfectionist. Okay, from there I'm going to go ahead and step back a little bit. I'm stepping back and I'm going to look at this and kind of study and see is there anything that I can improve to make it better. Well, one thing I noticed that I can improve and hey, we can all make improvements. I'm going to stretch this part out a little bit more to go that far back. And I want this line to come in a little bit. Okay. Then from there, I'm going to add in an ear. It's pretty easy. Ears, just these random curves. Just like that. Then I'm going to put in an arm. An arm, you're going to have it coming from some wool. Just put some marks like that. And then we're going to have a straight line coming out like that. Another straight line like that. We're going to have the hoof going back a tad. As you can see, you're starting to see that what we have is a sheep. And let's go ahead and draw in the legs. There's one. And we'll draw in the other one. So this one will be slightly higher because it's behind. And clean up the oops. And clean up that line a little bit. There we go. Now our sheep definitely needs a tail, so let's go ahead and give it a tail. A little poofy tail, a little Easter bunny tail there. And I'm gonna step back here and see what can I fix, what can I improve. Well looking at the fur I I think this part right here can be a little bit better. And I don't really like how this sticks out because it almost looks like a weird ear and it already, it already has its ear. We're gonna kind of study it some more. I kind of want this part to come in a little bit like that. And studying it, I don't know if I'm happy with the eyebrow. I mean, the um, yeah, the eyebrows. What I would like to do with them is have them not interfere with that line. So I'll put one here and one here. I can make them a little bit bigger. Now, what we get to do is make our sheep a happy sheep or a sad sheep. And we can play with expressions. If we want a happy sheep, Go ahead and put that smiley face. If you want a sad sheep, you can give them more of a sad look. If you want to, you can make your sheep look shocked. You can give it little teeth. 
can do all types of different things. You can kind of just not really give it that much of an expression at all. You can do all types of really fun things with the sheep. I'm going to kind of keep it very neutral here. Very neutral sheep. So now let's go ahead and give it some, right now <laughs> our sheep's floating in space. I'm going to go ahead and move it a little bit more in the center of the paper so we can see. It's floating in space so we can give our sheep some grass. And grass is so easy to draw. All you're going to do is just zoom in here by the feet and draw some lines. Super easy, right? Draw a couple more over here. And maybe just one or two right here. There's, there, there's our ground. Now our sheep's on the ground. Now if you want to, you can limit it, you can change it, you can make this one, this part really, really simple. I mean, it doesn't have to be much at all. So we got the base of our drawing down. Now we need to go ahead and go over the lines and work on the lines. Now for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to ink it using one of my ink pens here. Now, if you were in my art class, my physical art class at Golden Valley, you know how to ink. You've, um, you've done that before. I'm going to be using my studio ink pen here, making sure I'm the right layer. And what I would do if I were inking in real life on real paper, I would take my kneaded eraser and I would go through and I would lightly, lightly erase my pencil drawing so I can see it, but it's a little bit lighter. And then I would go ahead and go over these lines with ink pen. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is spend some time inking these lines with ink pen. This is where it really helps to have some good music because it takes a lot of patience. And I'm actually going to pull down the eyebrows just a tad. Now your lines don't have to be perfect here. They don't have to match the original pencil lines exactly. You can have some freedom. I'm going to go back and redo that because I want it to get larger as it goes down. And as you can see with ink pen, I'm a little bit more of a perfectionist because I'm actually inking instead of sketching. Inking is a little bit more permanent, which you definitely can sketch with ink pen. And I love to do that too sometimes, but in this case, I'm really making it a lot cleaner. Now in this case, where the black is on top of the black, one thing you can do is take a white gel ink pen and just go over that line very slightly and show some separation. If 
for your serious artists, it's really good to have on hand a white gel ink pen to go over your um, black ink when you're when you're inking. If you are finding the grass kind of familiar, and if you follow my webcomic titled Doodle with Poodle, you'll probably notice it's the same style grass that I draw for that comic. Okay, now from there, what I can do is take that white gel pen again, and I can go ahead and very gently just throw down some highlights, maybe even in the eyes. the hooves. And then what I could do is if this were, if I were doing this traditionally with pen, pencil, and paper, what I would do now is take my eraser and just completely erase all the pencil work and that leaves me with just the actual line work which looks pretty clean. So here I'm going to go and add some color. Now you might be thinking, what, <laughs> what should I color here? I mean, it's, it's, this is a sheep and sheep are white. Well, there's several ways we can do this. We could add a background color to make that white sheep pop a little bit. I'm gonna kind of simplify it a little bit here and I'm just not gonna do that. Do that. I'm gonna keep the background white. But I'm going to find a light brown color, a real light tan, and that's going to be for our character's face. You can do this with color pencil, you can do this with marker. The digital tool that I'm using kind of emulates color pencil to a certain degree. That's why I chose that. When you're coloring with color pencil and you're filling in a large section as I am here, you don't want your color pencil to be super sharp. Now what I'm going to do now is just kind of have some fun with this. I'm going to go ahead and add a darker value here. And I'm going to do that by adding in a little bit of shading here and here. Now what I did was, of course, I went outside the lines because I'm drawing digitally so I can do that. And I'm drawing quickly, but of course, if you're going to do that and you're using color pencil, you don't want to color outside the lines. If I'm going too fast for you, you always have the option of stopping, stopping the video, pausing for a bit, and then continuing. Now here I'm going to grab some green. I feel like green's a good color for the grass. And I'll go ahead and lay down some grass. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we're gonna throw in some highlights now, or some shadows technically. So a lot of times when we're shading and we want to go darker, our natural inclination is just to go to black. But what we often find is what works kind of better than black a lot of times is this color right here, which is a blue. So I'm experimenting here, trying to get the right blue. There we go. Okay, I like, I like that blue. So what I'm gonna do is throw in some shading, because 
this sheep here, we're not thinking completely two-dimensional. We're thinking a little bit of three dimensions. So we want to think of the body as a sphere. So it's round like a ball. And if it were a ball, there would be shadows on the sides of it. So we'll just go ahead and throw in a little bit of shading. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look just like mine. The great thing about artwork, it doesn't all have to look the same. Okay, I'm gonna kind of scan it over with my eyes and see if there's any area that kind of sticks out. And maybe this leg. Let's show that this leg is a little bit more in the distance. By adding just a little bit of shading. Not much, but just a tad. Kind of show that that leg is in the background. Do the same thing with this arm right here. And then I'm going to step back, kind of scan a little bit, and I'm going to think, hmm, I could probably do the same thing with the green. Get a little bit of a darker green. Uh, throw that in there just to add a little bit more. A lot of times people say less is more, but a lot of times in art, more is more. And there I'm going to zoom out, take a look at our sheep and I like I like them I like our sheep so great job today everyone I mean this is fun we get to come together still we get to draw we have a cool little cartoon sheep looking character here um yeah I'm happy I'm happy with him okay or I don't know what it is you get to decide you can name your sheep if you're one of my um actual classroom students what you need to do is go ahead and label this with today's date, which is on our website, the YouTube website. So go ahead and label it to make sure you have it in your sketchbook. If you're doing this for fun, you can also email me these or send them to me and you know I can share them, I can post them and share the work that you created with other people in the world, which is awesome. We can do this together during this um, COVID-19 um, outbreak where we may not be in the same physical classroom, but we can still be together as artists making artwork together. So thanks again for joining in. Have a great day.